In this lesson, we will cover a timer which will keep restarting at the end. We will use this for our automatic slider. First, where is the timer? Timer. We don't need a button, but we can put a button to start. No. We can put auto start to true. What else? Then on timer end, that's when the timer stops. On timer end. Update context. Variable timer to false. reset timer this is a variable timer is the function which will is a variable which will be used on the start okay reset timer timer one that means it will reset as if nothing has happened to the oh, oh reset And then we will update the context. Oh, there is no reset timer. It's a reset and then the control name. Um, first, we will make the start to be false, then reset the timer, then again make the start to be true. Then it will start the timer again. Did you get it? First, make it false reset and then make it true and this variable timer is in the start in the start start okay let's run one two three four stop one two and it will keep going keep going keep going let's close and then rerun it Okay, so it's still working because when we close and open, usually there is some discrepancy in the values of the control. Uh, there is some uh, the view state variable or the other caching, uh, you know, variables which would be in place. But everything seems to be working. So we have a timer in place which will, uh, at the end, it will start again. So, uh, we put the timer, timer of course, the duration, we have set it to uh, 5, 5000 milliseconds, 5, auto start true, very important, so start true and start, when the, uh, mm. this we start, we will use for the reset and a few few R, yes, and uh, when the timer ends, timer end we are resetting this to false reset the timer and update contains variable timer to true uh, that's it for this uh, lesson